what it is. That's what it and is. What are some of the benefits for this? I mean, I know that it's super healing, but what have you found that people get? So, so let me read a quote from Yogananda about okay. what he says about devotional chanting. So you get an idea. This was perfect question. Um, so in his uh, book Cosmic Chants that he wrote, well, this is where where you know we learn a lot of the different chants that he wrote, right? Uh, and so in the prelude. He says that sound is the most powerful force in the universe. Mm. He says sound or vibration is the most powerful force in the universe. Music is a divine art to be used not only for pleasure but as a path to God realization. Vibrations resulting from devotional singing lead to attunement with the cosmic vibration or the word. Mm. Right? And then he even quotes a passage from the Bible that says, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Mm. So then, here, um, you know, Yogananda is telling us that it's this cosmic vibration that we want to tap into, right? Yeah. So it's the own, the own vibration um, that pervades the whole universe, right? And Guruji says that that was the, the creative um, force that spirit used to project the universe, to, to bring the universe into manifestation, he had to use this powerful force, this powerful energy, right? Mm -hmm. Which is energy, because we're energetic beings, right? Everything's energy. Yeah. So then this own vibration is the primordial uh, sound, the primordial, primordial energy. So then with the chants, with the uh, devotional chanting, we are using this primordial own vibration. To put us back into harmony. To put us back into harmony, exactly. Centering ourselves, grounding ourselves, and yeah. Yeah. And I guess, I, you know, like, for those that haven't really fully experienced this or dived in, I mean, I'm sure at certain times that you listen to different songs on the radio and things like that, and you're brought into different states, different energies, different emotions, different vibrations, and so, you know, it is super powerful, and on, even mm -hmm. on the scientific level, there's these really cool things, you probably Google on YouTube, Google on YouTube, yeah, YouTube search, <laughs> but... It, it where sands laid out uh -huh. and different um, different music is played and the sand will actually start to form into almost like snowflake sacred geometry type of that, like yes. and and it's yes. it and it's the vibration actually causes the sand to part but it, it it parts in these in these ways but that's like what it's doing to our body if we're molecules if like our cells are like molecules of sand right you know like or the vibration you know we're having this different effect so yeah. i think that it, it's it's really uh worthwhile to check out some of those videos to see if that can mm -hmm, happen mm -hmm. to physical substances what mm -hmm. is it happening also to all of our atoms and protons neutrons electrons yes, all that yes, stuff you yes, know yes, yes. that are yes. floating around us <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah.